Hello gentlemen, welcome back to the Dortmund career mode. Season 2 is among us now. None of the boring, terrible pre-season games. We're past that now. Also, that's what we said. We got that in the first episode. We did okay in it, but we just for some reason we didn't go for the uh, semi-finals or the final. But it is what it is. But mainly part of that episode was, was fixing the team, making it stronger so we can compete for the Bundesliga and the DP Portico Cup. So we brought in players like, as you can see on the screen here, Cody Gapo, Modric on the free transfer to Nali. Unbelievable couple of signings right there. And we still have got more to come in this episode. But we start off with an absolute banger with the Champions League winners with Borussia Dortmund against the Europa League winners, I believe, in Man City for the Super Cup. A big test for us here, as considering they're in the Europa League, it seems like Man City winning that. They're a massive team and they probably still have got a better team of us on paper. So let's get into the pre-match conference here and see if we can start off this episode with a dub and a trophy come on Please, look at barry's you. mullet look unbelievable if you're against man c in the europe super cup what are you expecting from them erlen holland to be honest it's gonna be a bit of a everyone we want to bring a winning mentality we do i mean coming off from the champions league and coming you know mid kind of table-ish in the bundesliga we want to prove it this season i feel like we can we got such a stronger team now. I feel like we should be fairest to win the Bundesliga with the team we've got, to be honest. What are we for in the, this team? We want to get a habit of winning, 100%. It's a good, it's a good answer from Barry, that. 100%, because we do uh, kind of bottle now and then, so I want to be, I want to see if we can go on a little bit of beat him. That would be nice. No losses. You never know. Yeah, three new uh, players coming in. We love to see it. We need a strong team. We want to compete for the uh, Champions League again. Today's cup and the league and the Portico Cup, we need to increase the team. We knew that and we have. There's more to come, as I said. That's all we've got time ago. for today. Thank you so much let's for get coming, into everyone. And see if we can get our first trophy of the season. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the live today against Man City. We're against the Beast in Carnage in Erlen. Haaland was recently at Borussia Dortmund, but transferred to Man City. Fair enough, indeed. Hopefully, he doesn't score against us and uh, goes wild. He shouldn't do. Should just repay it for some respects. But looking at our team to the left here, I'll see majority of the new signs coming late to Nani scoring a screamer in the last episode. Cody Gapo made a massive impact in this team already. I think he's already got like five or six goals for the club already. Modric obviously keeps decreasing in uh, overall, but with the plus four. And obviously with Gavi on the bench to come off them so he can orientate and do absolutely wonders. Obviously with Hummus at the back there, that's the AE uh, overall. That's the one that's kind of standing out. Obviously uh, people like Skriniar. Maybe even Tomori can maybe potentially make this team. You never know. A new big baller centre back to would just be the final piece of the puzzle to secure a lot of wins, hopefully, this season. But we focus on today's episode, the win here today against Man City. Hopefully, we can do it. Kobe was our captain. Can he win and lift us the trophy today? Come on. Very nice little cinematic here. My man fixing the lines, putting some new paint, fresh paint down. Cutting the grass, there comes the away and home fans there. So he's like more of the home fans there. That's what we like to see. That woman had no one on the back, not even a, not even a bloody name or a kid number. Fair enough. But there you can see Big Kobo leading the team there with the captaincy on the title. 88 overall goalkeeper now in our career mode. Very nice indeed. We could be on for maybe the quad this season. The Champions League again, the league. The Pudco and also this. Would it be the end of the series just like that? Or would we have to go into a third series? You never know. Or maybe we transfer to another club and try and help them out. A very strong team today with both sides. We focus at the task at hand. There is the man in the middle right there. Former Goldman man, Erlen, and Big Phil. Leaking absolutely unreal. Come on, though. So here we go, as per usual, us in the Bumblebee colours and City in the famous light blue and the white shorts. Just got a block at Erlen Haaland. Maybe this crew will be bringing back to Dortmund, you never know. We're winning, you know, Champions Leagues and stuff. Maybe he would have come back to uh, the German side. But I don't think we've got the funds to do that. To be honest, Gakpo and Felix are doing absolutely wonders. Here comes Gakpo now. There he goes, he's running a lot. Look at the speed on him. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for it. Cody Gakpo! Oh, look, he went for the long shot because no one's closing him. So why not? Tanani, can he uh, block off Phil Foley? He can. He can play for your own hand, though. 
But Bremer denies him. Intercept, quick go. Morris with the long shot. And Kobo saves it comfortably. Probably should have played through Hallam there. He was wide open. After me dragging the, the centre back over to the left. Tanana switches the ball though. Goes to Golelo. Obviously, we can vary it into a centre mid in the future. So hopefully, it goes up right in. Back hook. Switches to Green Truga. Inside. To Bert. To Jude. From Jude to try to just play around with there, just taking it easy at the moment. Phil Foden, Hallam, it really well. It's Phil Foden trying to find his good power early. We're going to block him off. Oh, I was going to say that is a foul there. Hallam brings back our full back there. Not very nice indeed. Let's go in there. Nice. Real quick dink. Nice. Jude's going to win that against Kevin. Uh, lucky. Good pass from forward to Cancelo. Obviously, Cancelo at Bayern uh, at the moment. A bit of falling out with Pep in real life. A very bad bit of falling out in Bayern now, so I don't know what's going on with him. Unreal player though. Modric, can he find Cody? That's what we got him for. The passing. Cody just can't get past Ake. There's him, plays it. Cancelo. Hand on the ball. Still going. Well done. Capo. Very nice. Jao Felix. Grochuga. It quite so far for this game. Not the ball I wanted, but we're going to do it. Luka Modric here. Can he do what? Oh, what he ran off? I was hoping Guerrero would stay up the pitch there, but got a bit away with it. But it's our new actual centre mid now. Where's the Grochuga? Jude, not the best touch there from Drew Bannon. City looking a bit shaky, we're looking like the better team. Just need to find that goal. Jude, high wide. Can we get the early ball in there? It's going into the back post, but Edison's going to catch that comfortably. It looks like we could be going near and near with this Super Cup in this episode so far. I expected maybe a goal in the first half, but I don't know. speak too soon. Phillips. Doesn't get a lot of game time for City in real life, but it's starting today. But City get denied the last attack before the half. It ends nil no, nil. No. Um, I mean, I think City, the City don't look that dangerous to be honest. I think we do. I think we just gotta find that opening goal, and I think it will come. I can see a little uh, one nil here at the end for Dortmund, but half time. I'll let you know if I'm any change. So, ladies and gentlemen, only one substitution, and that is Gavi comes on for Vert, surprisingly. So, I've gone Gavi in Cam. Obviously, we want to try and convert him there. So, I think uh, Vert has been a little bit quiet. Maybe we're having new strides in the And I don't really want to take off Modric because I've heard Modric's been quite decent since he's been uh, playing. So, I want to keep that band door going on. So, happy days. Oh, Hummels, pushing that ball around here comes Aaron Halland. Kind of really tight gap, he plays it back. Morris. Oh, don't get a fortune there. If you poke down there, then uh, killing him, giving him a pen. Oh, good ball from Modric, but we can Oh, from Gabby, sorry. Herrera. Plays with Morris. Morris on the shot, but we has to force a save. Fair enough, indeed. Substitution here. Ronaldo Silva has gone on. I'm not sure who that is. I think he really had a friend with his face. Herrera, fair enough. Going on the ball, absolutely sends me to the shot. It's our pass. He's going to Aki. Kobe's going right up. Quick kick. And Jalfi to get on the end of it. Oh, the first is very fortunate there. I thought I might have nicked it there, but Nano plays through. He's getting a bit tense now. See, kind of waking up a little bit. Gee, what a turn that is. Now we go on around. A good gap ball on the back post. I've seen it, but it's a terrible ball. A really bad ball from my full back. Gap ball was on his own. On that left wing, no one's watching him. It's not the best ball there. We have got a new hero on the block with Cody Gapo. He's been unbelievable since he's joined. Try to play through Haaland. Bremen denies him. A little quick as well. Nice little dink there to Modric. And he looks for the LBY. Gets a beautiful ball. Jude Benham's through on goal here. Jude Benham. Jude Benham's won us the game here. Jude Benham! And it's a great save from Edison. Jude denies us the goal there. It's just not the old. Cody Gapo for Miyako. I don't think I want to do that. I want to keep Cody Gapo on. Maybe John Felix goes off. I'm going to go for an outside here. Because everyone's closing in. 
Good cost off ground. That's all right. And Jude Brown's found a bit of space. Jude Brown! That's a great save from Edison. Fred on for Modric. We'll do that. Get Mock Fred on. And Brazilian. I might go for that again, you know. That was quite close. I'm going to try that attempt again. Fred fizzes it outside. That's all right. My jar fix has got a bit of room here. Oh, what a ball that is. What's up on? Cody Backpool. Uh, Backpool? Even Batman there. I've had a shot. Cody Gakpo just misses the touch there. It's a brilliant ball from Jao Faces. It's what I wanted. Can go. Here comes Haaland. City knocking now. Now comes Big Erlin. Not the man you want. And go. He went for the shot, but we deny him it. Gakpo bounces past one. Oh, I just couldn't pass Haki. We would have played for a player there. Haaland on the ball. Premier, good challenge. Could be very scary that though. 83rd minute. Can we get one last attack? Gavi's up there. Jude's on there. It's a 3v2. Come on. This has got to be it. Outside the box. Oh, we made the wrong decision. We should have pulled it back there. Aki gets the block. Annoying. Come on. There's definitely going to be a goal in this game. I feel it. In the 90th minute. Here we go. We're through. There it is. Cody Gakpo. Can he win us the game out? Cody. Oh, what a block from Edison. It's still alive. Joe Felix. Oh, we're going to extra time, I think. I think we're going extra time when we are. Cody Gapple just denies us then. Maybe we should have took him off from the offer because he did miss two crucial ch chances at the end there. One where he failed, he touched it. And that one-on-one -on -one there, pretty much. But great save from Edison. Both keepers doing oven row for both sides today. That's end of the second half. I'll let you know for many changes. Royal Leeds gentlemen, three substitutions now, and Jao Fix goes on from New York. I'm going to give Cody Gapple the uh, benefit of doubt because he's been unbelievable before this game in the last episode, so he's got to start. Papadopoulos comes on for Hummels, knee fresh legs at the back, and Munia comes on for Guratuga as well. So, can we do something now? Miyoko played the ball over the top. He's going to get the ball over the top. It's a great ball. Go on. I was on the back post. Gabby, oh, you idiot, Miyoko! I pushed this goal, Neil. It's still alive, though. Outside the box. Oh, what a shock of making all the wrong decisions. Good ball. Oh, here we go. Surely. There it is. There it is! Miyoko gets the goal! Finally! I must say, I do apologize because my choice making this game has been absolutely dreadful. You don't say! Finally, we get the goal. City knew it was coming. That's a great goal. We made an absolute error with that pass across the, uh, the box to Gavi. He's gone out wide. Nice little wide. Ran through. Ball there. First time shot. Boom. Miyako puts his 1 0 up. Well done. Come on. So then, can City bounce back from this? They've been. They've had like two shots on target, but regardless of that, they've, they haven't done a lot. So it'll be interesting to see what they do in this now. Tanani, good ball. Gavi's through on goal there. This could be a whitewash now. It's Cody Gakpo. There it is. It's 2-0, just like that. We have finally woken up. And that, to me, is game set and match. We have sweaty goal there, or rat goal, however you want to bloody call it. And we have ended the game. Great ball through the middle. City have absolutely collapsed at the back. And Cody Gapple just gets the assist for today there. Nice one two. See you later. Edison's had a shocker. Aki's had a shocker. Ruben Diaz has had a shocker. And we're two to up in the Super Cup. Come on. Well done. Dortmund are the team to be threatened at the moment by now. Because we are absolutely taking this cup by storm in the extra time. And now probably the world as well. We are the team to have a look at now. The team to watch. Borussia Dortmund. We just go again to the second half. It seems like we just finish off this game and left another bit of silverware. Come on. Radio, the second half of extra time has begun. They've made a couple of uh, switches, City. We just need to hold on. We've got tired legs out there, which you would expect playing this extra bit of game. Oh, good ball inside, though. Miyako, he's the one with the fresh legs. He's the one that should be, we should be watching. Oh, he needs to pass Ruin Diaz there. Goes out for a corner. Can we do something here? I'm just gonna go for uh, this one. I'm just gonna cross this one with Fred. Fred swings it in. It's gone there. Oh. 
Come on, Fred, have a little pop, son. Look, Fred. And that goes over the pot. Unlucky. What's a quick sub here? Rare on for Drew Burnham. Why not? It's given an appearance in the uh, in the cup. Seems that we have probably won this now. We're just going to cruise control to the 120th minute and pick up another bit of silverware. The team to watch at the moment is Dortmund in this career mode. I like it from Papa Dapalos there to not keep the ball in. Oh, Logan, what a great. Let's go right up the pitch. Well done. We're going to commit players forward. Great ball. We'll throw again here. Oh, we just couldn't get it from the upper there to seal, definitely seal the game man. Phil Foden. It's a Bernardo. It's a good turn. He's really set to the shot to. It's a good ball and it's fizzed across the goal, but no City player could get a touch on that. Brilliant ball, but just kind of get a touch on it. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have won another bit of seal where it seems. There's the whistle. Portland have picked up their first trophy of the season, and it is the Super Cup. Well done to Barry. He has changed this team to being an absolute joke unbelievable we get the win over pep we will take it indeed there it is another trophy for the boys let's have a look at the old celebration here i haven't really seen the super cup this fifa yet so it's another trophy to tick off barry's accomplishments from going unemployed a couple of months a couple of months ago yeah he was a couple of months ago yeah probably you could say a year to winning the Champions League and now the Super Cup with Borussia Dortmund. We love to see it. There it is. Kobo is this time lifting the trophy. No Marco Royce, unfortunately, because we are uh, very savage of our choices. But there it is. Happy days. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the first league game, we have got some uh, things to sort out here. We've got interest showed in Rashford, but it doesn't matter now, so we can just delete that message because we've got Aussie Cody Gapo. We have got two player chats here with Cody Gakpo. Just when I'm ready to do what I expect you successful. How to play striker if that's part of the plan? Happy days. It is. You to be my striker, my man. You'll do for me. I was disappointed you left me a pass. I know I'm sorry for Organ Hazard. I want to rotate the team. We have got an off here for Bremer here for 62 million from Man City, the team we just played. But I am going to deny him. He probably won again because uh, Bremer put Hallen in his back pocket that game. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to play uh, this game against Brenna Brayman. Because I feel like people like Matt Hummels, I know he, he'd probably be get dropped down to be a sub. Set about, but I think he deserves to get one last maybe start game uh, for Dortmund in their league. He's been okay, so why not? I'm probably going to dodge the pre-match confidence on this one because I can't really see the rivalry between these two teams. So what we'll do, we'll skip and get into the lineups and into the first game of Season 2 in the Bundesliga. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup that I want to do today against Werner Bremen away. As you can see, you probably want to know where the hell is Cody Gapo. He's just very tired. Same with Guerrero. I'll just show it quickly now to prove it. As you can see, Gapo's on like half stamina and Guerrero. And these two players, we definitely need to keep in the side fully fit. So, you might see them come on at half time or during midway through the game. You never know. But I don't mind playing Miyoko up top and Munoz in left back. It should be a comfortable side regardless. Looking at their team here, though, they got DeWitt as a captain. Bit in court, not too bad. Wiser and Mbuku up top. Reckon I maybe one or two of their players, but not one too much. Should be getting the winner today. Let's start off with Dub in the Bundesliga. Come on. So here it is. Rich Dortmund against Werner Bremen. The first game of Dortmund's campaign in Season 2 in the Bundesliga. Hoping to pick up the result today. I feel like we can. I think our, our stroll just on paper, it just absolutely silly, our starting level. And the all young talent as well, so they're only going to get better and better with overall down the line. So let's not mess around here. Let's get into it. Look at that top three. Unbelievable. Come on. So here we go then. The Burma Braver in their famous green colours. I think we've got white on it as well, and us in all black. Come on. Mario, so they went on the board. Plays it to Ibuku there. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. I thought they would have gone through the middle there. So I'm quite uh, surprised at that, but they haven't. Bremer, quick switch, my man. Nice, Munya. Nice dink. Luka Modric, very experienced player in that midfield. I say that because he lost it. There he goes. Done well. Really well done. Tonight. Dizzy for Burt. Great run from Burtz there. Cannot play through Miyoko Jalfix, so very unfortunate indeed. 
from a good challenge. Goes to Luca. Muni on the ball. We're looking through again here already. And Miyoko unlucky. Well done, Hummels. He'll mean with Hummels. He's been, been alright. Jal Felix, player wide. Oh, he's well done. Uh, Try to find Jude Ben there. We couldn't. Oh, we want a bag to be fair. Nice, well done. Passionate, love it. Very well done, indeed. Uh, Livermento has gone from Southampton to Burnley. Fair enough. I don't know why that's popping up in the Bundesliga news. But... You do you, where it floats your boat. Tension there, plays it to Piper. Pi Pi I'm just going to call him Piper, it's pretty easier, isn't it? What? It's a good ball. And to be fair, Miyoko's broke through there. It's a great save from Kobo. A little bit of pace there from number 31, the forward. Vernon Bremer. We got the best chance of the day so far. Well done. Tomori is really well. We get it down the line now. We can. With Jao Felix. We can get past Agu though. Foul there. Fair enough. Bremer. Big switch. Love that. Little 1 2 there with uh, Modric perhaps. Can't get the pass up quick enough. And Hummels has found himself in a 2v1 there. He's done really look at that for a block. And what a ball as well. Well done. Joel Felix. It's to Miyoko. Oh, just couldn't get the shot off in time. Just trying to do a bit of techers there to get a bit of space. Great challenge from Tonali. Dude. Plays with Miyoko. Oh, we just can't get the shot. Both the strikers need to wake up there, but the rest of the team is doing well. Especially Hummels. He's doing really well. So far this game. Oh, cheeky. Yoko. Touch. That's it. Dick and Modric. Out wide. That's it. Nick Rand. Oh, unlucky. Dick and Modric. Tell you what, no one's clear. Ah, uh, there wasn't. Oh, there we go. There's a block. Ah, oh, come on. Need to get that quick passing going sometimes. We went for the shot and it was opening up and it was close really quickly. Unlucky then. Through again here with this striker. Miyoko, can he convert this time? It's a good ball in the middle and they've made it 1 0. It's not the start that Dortmund wanted. Too much messing around in the uh, final third and it's cost us. They've gone on the counter attack. It's a great ball from that number 31 striker. He's a real threat for us at the moment. It's a brilliant finish from the Burnham player. Player there. We get a little replay with all angles, fair enough. Great little dink, and there's a nice little half volley from number seven, I believe, in the bottom right corner. Fair play indeed. It's a great ball and a brilliant finish. All power. Better bring one up. Don't we need a bounce back? Come on. Already, to be honest, I don't really blame the defence though. I think I kind of blame myself. And especially the strikers, they're not really doing too much. Jal Felix. Come on, Jal, better. Nice. Can we get it one more attack before the break here? Ah, we're not going to get it. We had the ball down the wing there. Could have got something out of that. But it is what it is. I'm confident we can bring this back. We've got the stronger team by country mile. But the uh, the strikers need to turn up. I think it's time to bring on the main man. It's the guy I repeat since the start of season two repeatedly. And that is big Cody. Kakpo. Get him on the pitch. I'll let you know for many changes. Radio ladies and gentlemen, two substitutions, and it's Verts going off again for Gavi because Gavi was doing really well in that Super Cup in that camera, so he's doing a lot more impact than Verts. And as course, Cody Gapu comes on for Miyoko. So come on, let's bounce this back now. Modric. It's quite wide. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Drew's on the edge, but I oh, did aim for Drew Bellamy, he was wide open, but. Unfortunately, it didn't allow us. Tonali makes a bit of a mistake then. Kind of messes up that. Oh, they're from Bremer. Oh, we should have thought he can get away with the bit there. Going down the wing, but he's read it. Bremer has to come back and cover. Really well done. Jude. Get that ball over. Oh, come in, come in the head. Oh, just done well to recover for so. Oh, could have been pulled down there. Okay. Modric, can he do something now? No. The bit on the ball. The wiser. One from Nunez. 
Mario, 62nd minute. I don't really want to go for the draw here. I want to go for the win. But we need to get a goal fast. Just make the best ball. Got away with that, haven't we? Jal Felix, we're going to get him to make a run there through the middle. Got to kind of get it, but he needs to run more down the wing. Could have got him there, still that. It's a great ball down wide. And luckily it goes Look for a throw in. Modric, good switch. And again, Werner Park in the bus, seems like. Jal Felix on the ball. It's a boy wide. We can get there. Great ball to Gurtuga. Full back here. Gurtuga has a good shot at goal. Pazetta makes the save. 73 minute now. Looking still for a goal for Dortmund. Modric swings it in. It's our full back again. It goes out for another corner. Hmm. Got to keep going. I know, man. It's got to keep hitting them. It's a good ball. It's a full back again. It lands to Jude. Tell Felix, it's time to that for another corner. Let's go for something different there. Let's go for, let's go for short. Cool. Too bad. Got very lucky there. Cody's in the middle and Cody misses the sitter. We get so fortunate there to try and get a goal and Cody Gamble hits it wide. Oh, it's just not a day in the office, is it? Same old Dortmund strikes again, it seems like at the start of season two. Bottling in the games we should be probably winning. Come on, there's still time. Come on, boys, give me a good lock on at least. Buku, being their best player of our country mile. He's done really well to bring it to the corner. Smart move from him right there. The wits. It's a good ball, Cole has to force a save. And to be honest, lads, 85th minute, we're going to have to just try playing for the draw. I'm going to go ultra attack. I'm not going to make any subs. All right, come on. Actually, should we make a sub? Fred on. Yeah, Fred on. Skip the animation. We haven't got time. Oh, right, yeah, come on. Let's get something out of this game. Fred's in the middle. Cody Gapple's made the run. There it is. Come on. Oh, it's just gone a bit too wide. It's gone a bit too wide. We've got a corner, though. Yeah, why not? Ray on for Modric. Kobo has gone up. Let's get it in there. It's going in. Jules fell on. Oh, it's a great shot. It's still alive, though. It is still alive. Good ball. Inside. Still kind of alive. It's not alive. And Werner Bremen have picked up the victory against Dortmund. The first game for Dortmund this season has ended with a loss. And there's me saying I want to try and go and beat it. I've had a shocker. I prefer really not to... Um... Not to speak. I don't know what to say. It's a very, very poor start for Dortmund. Luckily, it's at the start of the season, so we can work on the improvements there. Maybe we do need to also get that new centre back in to strengthen the defence, but the attack were awful. Today, everything was just dreadful. Fair play to Van Bremen, though. They got the job done. 1 0 away. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the last game of this episode, we're going to just try and sort out signing about a new centre back and also just going through some inbox information here right now so as you can see first bit of information Rea has been confirmed sold and we've actually got an offer for Chao Felix from Juventus 122 million I'm not looking to do this boys but that is a lot of money I'll tell you what I'm going for negotiations and I'll tell you why in a minute I've got something up my sleeve. I've got something up my sleeve. If this goes through, could be on for a biggie. So, I want a lot of money. I want a lot of money. If you want this guy, I want a lot of dough. I want at least 155. But I'm going to go in for 160 first. Be a bit greedy. Let's have a look. 122. All right. 150. Actually, no, 100, I'll be generous here. 145 for Big Jao Felix, our best player last season. Oh. 
Right, you're pushing me now, mate. 135. That's it, my last offer, because I feel like that's a silly offer to give away. So they're not going to do it. They've backed out. Fair enough, indeed. They've had a shocker. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going for it. I am going for it. I can't help myself. I'm a massive fan of him in real life. And with our team at the moment, we need him back. You're going to see who it is in a matter of seconds who I might try and go for here. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> there it is. Big Erling Haaland. My goal is to do this. Ciao, Felix. 40 mil. What's Pep going to say? He's probably going to, he's probably going to deny this, but why not? A bit of fun, isn't it? Mm, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of dough. I don't think we're going to do it, boys. I thought I'd just do it for a bit of fun. If we brought him back, I mean, I could, you know, I mean, it could be possible still, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. We'll do 60. Don't think he's going to do this. Probably not. No. All right. We had our fun, didn't we? We had our little joke. Harry had his little banner with Pep. It's not going to happen. All right, let's actually get into some real business now and see if we can find a brand new centre-back for the club. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned it throughout the game. People was recommending me uh, Skrinja, but I'm going to go for this man instead. We're going back to Milan for the England sensation in Tomori. I could have played the release clause, but I'm a bit uh, stingy, so I thought I'd go in for negotiations. Like I said, someone did recommend this in the old comments, so why the hell not? I'm going to just go cheeky at the moment and go 35, just a little bit above his market value. Let's have a little gander. I think this works out better as well because he's younger, he can grow. They want Gavi in the exchange. That ain't happening. Not an absolute chance. Alright, they obviously don't want to, they want to play ball, so 100 mil. Oh, God. Boo, guys. We've not got the funds, have we? Maybe we'll have to go for a screen here, there, or maybe... Let's go for 80. Actually, no, let's go... Let's go... Yeah, let's go 80. And then we'll do a swap deal as well. Who can we send through the ranks? Who can we send off? Um... I don't really want to do Fred, but I'm going to send Fred in, see what they say there. 92. Okay, I'll do 85. We do 85 with Fred. Also, we've got to look at uh, financially as well. Oh, there's other centre backs out there, so. I think that's a good deal, man. That's a really good deal. There we go. Finally, we get the deal with. The Milan manager right there. We've took in two of their superstars. Can we get in the Milan player to our team? Let's get right into the negotiations. Let's not mess around here. He's got to ask for a lot of money. We're going to probably try and sell one more player just to get our budget back up as well before the uh, transfer window fails. A big Tomori could be signing for big Arisha Dortmund. It's a shame about Haaland because that would have been quite cool to bring back, I think. Crucial, of course. Tomori's going to be our brand new starting centre back with Bremer. There we go. Five years, 100%. Yeah. Release cause. I don't really want to do a release cause. Right, so he wants a bit of a. I want to remove the bonus. I'll remove the bonus and I'll give you an extra 10k. I think that's fair, Tomori. I think that's fair. You going to do that? There we go. So there it is. We're looking a bit. Uh, a little bit suspect on the club budget, but we could definitely get that back up by just selling one or two players. Barry's beard's gone blonde for some reason. He's had a shocker. But Tomori, welcome to the team. There he is. Doing absolutely unreal for Milan at the moment. Kobo saying hello to him. We love to see it. Things we love to see. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Tomori goes into the team. So, that means now our captain will be Kobo for the rest of the season. As you probably could say, why well, you should probably do something like Julie, you know, a young captain. He led them in the Champions League in real life. But if you look at, uh, I believe, Kobo's stuff here, 
you can see he's got leadership badge on his traits and celebrations so probably the perfect captain for us at this current stage in our career mode but we got the last game of the episode of today today here chaps and that is against Perfa. obviously we lost our last game so we need to end this episode with a dub in the Bundesliga as uh, it would be a terrible start to the Bundesliga if we get back-to-back -back losses or even a draw but we are at home let's get into the lineups and get our first win of the Bundesliga we hope so ladies and gentlemen as you can see this is alarm today it's pretty much the bulk standard lineup as the last game right there but obviously Gakpo gets in the starting team today over Miyoko as he's back to full fitness same with Guerrero like I said we just need to get the win here today I mean we need to start the Bundesliga with a dub but we just didn't do that did we so we need to bounce back We've learned from our mistakes. It was a bit too sloppy. Let's hit him hard now and get a big result. Come on. So here we go then. Bormann versus Hertha Berlin at home. Our first game at home. Can we get a dub? I'd like to think so. But I said that in the last game, didn't I? What a shocker. But this one is at home. So you expect us to be there. We're in our uh, home turf. Nice to see how tomorrow gets on the Bremer. New partnership. I expect it to be absolutely dominant, like a brick wall. Let's find out. Better from the attackers today as well, too, please. Come on. So here we go then. As per usual, Bruce Dorman in the bone because in the yellow and black. And it seems like the away team are in a like a very, very navy or black kit there. With a little bit of a tingy blue on the top half of their kit. But here we go though. Tomori number four we're giving him. He's really well to block off. An attacker there, well done. Jude Bellum, can he play it wide to Couturier? He can. Inside to Jal. Could have been there in hand that you never know, but it wasn't meant to be. Well, here we go, though. It's a ball through the middle there. The Burt. Play back. That's it. Nice play. Unlucky. Very unlucky indeed there. De La Vega. To Wisman. Cedric. That's a bad off. I swear he was at Southampton before. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. He's done really well though. Keeps going tomorrow. Good challenge. That's what we love to see from the Englishman. Two English uh, players in the sign up with Jude Benham. And uh, Tomori. Oh, that is a Cody there. Well done. Cody Apple got a lot of room. He's going to run his own. Look at this from Cody. Cody Gagpo take a bow. Because he has just ran through the whole defence from that left. And we're going to expect a lot of that this season. Who needs our in Haaland there? And we have big Cody up top. The signing of the season. Mark my words. Run past the whole left side. Pass free and whacks it into the top left corner. 1-0 to Dortmund. Thanks to the number 11. The flying Dutchman strikes again. 1-0. Come on. So here we go then. We start off with a goal at home. Thanks to big Gakpo. We love to see it. Well, can we hold on now? Let's not slop up again. Like we did in the first game. Up we go there. It's a great header. And Coburn has to make quite a bit of a save there, but he catches it quite comfortably. Well done. Good header from Jao Felix. Grochuga. Oh, nice bit of play there. So the ball down the line again to Cody. Unlucky. Good ball to top there. Can we get a little flick on? We can't revert. Unlucky. Very unfortunate indeed. Down. Nice. Joe Felix. Can we find him then? That's what I was looking at. I did see him in the top half of my screen. I just couldn't get the run in there beforehand. Unlucky. Jude, well done. We have a chance here again. Cody Gap will again for the nil. Good pull back. Lovely this. Goes back to Jude. There he is. That's where I was finding. Trying to find Jude there beforehand. But we couldn't get to him. We're just. The formation's working, but we just sometimes the players that I want to go to the ball to it's not going there. It's really weird. Bremer, oh, he's been beaten now. I expect him to go inside. He's going to recover well. He's done well, but it's gone back. The opponent team gone inside. Bremer, well done. Modric, well done indeed. Great one, too, there. Look at this. Looking really well so far. Cody Gap has found a bit of space on the left. He's going to go again here. Back to Luka Modric, but it's just gone past both centre midfielders. 
Very shocking indeed. And it ends the half at 1-0 on the 45th minute. Thanks to Big Cody early on in the game. Just need to work out on the attack a little bit. The defence seems very strong this game. A lot better from the first game. It's just the attack again. We're looking okay, but it just needs to be that extra bit crisper up the top. Hopefully we can do a little bit better in the second half and get more goals for Borussia Dortmund. One nil with a half, I'll let you know if I made any changes. So ladies and gentlemen, I decided to not make any changes in the second half. We're doing okay, we just, I feel like the attack will just sort itself out. I think the gaps will come naturally. But maybe just me, maybe me this episode, not taking advantage of uh, the team. Probably is, no one's out of 10. Better shot. Oh, some gaps going in, lads. A bit of movement. Uh, Jude comes to feet out wide. We love going out wide. In the middle, it's a gap there. Cody with not the best touch. Sometimes he does bottle little things like that, though, I've noticed. Oh, they panted in the back there, though. And it goes out for a corner kick. Luka Modric can the veteran and get it. A nice delivery in. It's a good ball to Bremer. And Bremer does get a shot, a goal, but nothing challenging towards the keeper and the opponent team. Can we head it down again? We have. Thank you very much. Nice. Joe Felix. Oh, Joe Felix take a bow. Oh, that's a good save. He does really well to bounce past two with a bit of tackles there. But the shot wasn't the best. The angle was all wrong. Mr. Mullet Man, AK Barry. Looking a bit majestic again. We're going to go for our little tactic. We always mess this up, but one day it will work off. We're quite wide. Oh, I don't think we do. We're trying to loop it into the top left. So we kept it alive there. Well done. Side. Well, we'll just try to get a step to get past the defender there to try to throw him up a little bit. Should we get that from uh there we go well on to wherever? Oh, Tanani makes a bit of a mistake there. Oh they found a gap there, it's terrible defending again and it's one all oh! What is going on this episode? For quit there. The young Frenchman gets the goal there's some boos and I don't blame the Dortmund fans they did really not expect this at the start of the season a terrible start for Borussia Dortmund is history going to repeat itself this season come on we need to wake up a little bit Jal Felix starts off once again but come on we need to wake up a bit man especially in the attack Oh, not again. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God Kobe saved us there. Because that could have been a disaster. Come on. Let's get this ball out and get on the attack. There we go. It's bounced down lovely. He sent me to the shops. And Kobe goes on the worry of the save. Cody Gap will get off the pitch. From Miyako, get some fresh legs on. Hopefully the young talent player can save us today if we get a chance. Modric, out you go. He's not the tallest player, is he? Just try to bang it out there, just get it out of danger. It's a shot at target there. And Modric has brought a player right on the edge of the box. This is not where you want to see it. We are going to get a player on the line. This is not what we want to see. It's gone for it. It's fizz past. Oh my god, boy Torres. What a shot that was, but it just went wide, just a tad. Come on. We need to get the win here. Come on, it's a massive down line of class for Jude. Come on, Jude. Up on sides. Again, we're all just munched up in the middle. We need to show for feet. And now De La Vega's through. Bremer comes across. Well done. Come on, I'm on it. I'm going to attack that. I'm going for it. Modric's made the run. Great ball from Modric. Can Luka Modric manage the game here? Luka Modric! And that is why we signed them on a free. He might be 37, he might be a dinosaur. But he has won us the game. Mr. Croatian himself, the Ballon d'Or winner, has won us the game. That is why we got him. That is why in FIFA and career mode, sometimes you need players like that. And what a finish on the weak foot as well. Great finish into the top right. Luka Modric, take a, what a finish that is, take a bow, he's won us the game, come on, still not a very convincing 
victory for Dortmund though you know with the side we got against teams like this no offence to the teams we've played so far we should be absolutely battering but the game ain't over yet if they can score one they can definitely score again get a 2 all. which was oh, no that's not good oh my god I thought Samori gave away a pen one last attack here can we finish the game Jao Felix is through it's a great ball to Jao I beg your pardon. Excuse me, game. We was through one on one, and the bloody rest blown it. I know we won the game, but you know you shouldn't do that. We did that real ugly up rule. I can't believe it. I mean, goal difference, right? Oh, match fixing that is. He must have had a cheeky two-one Dortmund on the old uh, bet slip. Regards that, we have picked up the win today, which is decent, but not a convincing one. But it's like I said, the team we got. We should be team winning like three or four nil, but thanks to Modric, the uh, the ex bandle winner in the 86 minutes, he's won us the game against Hertha Berlin. 2 1, we continue on. So here we go then. Looks like the game was going to end up the way that it is. We went to the death, the team came with a winner. Which perhaps, yeah. Sometimes you've got to be patient, it's true. You've got to be patient and we'll get our chance. We went through at the end patiently and we got it, but still not really convincing though. Strange. Things need tweaking, it seems. Everything's probably had down here for these. Winning at Serfra. Yeah. Fair play to them. Um, yeah, we had a chance to win more, 100%. Just didn't take it. It wasn't, like I said, it just wasn't convincing. We need to wake up a little bit in the attack. The fence seems okay. All the attack, I see. We're just we're talking about the attack. There's just so many players punched in the middle. Final third on the edge of their box. He won by half and made it tough at the end. What the hell's that? Up, we never let up. Yep. I'm going to give it to her for the, you know, even at the end there. I thought it could have been a, a penalty on to Thank you for this gespräch. Ref period and see, is that a shocker? 2 1, come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, that will wrap up this episode today. Before we do that, though, we have got some inbox messages here. Let's have a little gander, shall we? So we've got Ghana and stuff, uh, International Matter Road, just rescheduled. We have got an offer here for Christian Turga here. Okay. With a swap deal with Kyote. No, I'm just going to reject that. I don't want to get rid of him. He's got a big potential about that kid. We've also got Gary's position changer. I wonder if he's going to go up a little bit more. Let's have a look at Ghana, should we? Yeah, he's got up to an 82. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. What we'll do now, though, we'll be a bit cheeky and we'll convert him back to a centre mid. So we've got that plus one then from just doing that now we can put it back to the center minutes. it kind of cl glitched the system there we'd love to see it kind of cheated him out but there it is yeah not very convincing episode today i mean yeah we won the super cup against man city which was very nice we got the win at the end there with last uh so we're getting the loss in the second game it's not the best and obviously like i said the last game just 2-1 as well so just need to find that consistency in the final third i feel like uh in the attack and i feel it will be okay but we have to figure that out in the next episode against Wolfsburg a way to kick that one off so yeah ladies and gentlemen if you did like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye